Hi guys, welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. We're live from Singapore, and today, big news as Facebook unveils Oculus Quest version 28 with a lot of different changes, including Oculus Air Link. If you're new to the channel, very nice to meet you, and a big welcome back to all our regular viewers and subscribers. You guys are super awesome. Today's shout out goes to Martin Benoit, Fleming LeBerc, and Jody Percy. Are you ready? Oh, hello everybody. Bonjour. How are you doing today? So big news because of course, Facebook are rolling out version 28 and there's a lot of good stuff, but we're going to break down this video in whew, two parts. Today, we're going to talk about Oculus AirLink. So Facebook in 2019, of course, rolled out the Oculus Link cable, which enabled you to plug in your whew, in your Link VR headset all the way to your PC. And then you could basically play all your various different PC VR titles using your Oculus Quest. I remember that day like it was yesterday. Oh my God, I feel so old now because it was for us Oculus Quest 1 users and all the Oculus Quest 2 users, of course. However, the new technology that's going to be implemented in the Oculus Quest 2 with the Airlink, of course, is going to be a game changer. But what does it mean for Guy Godin from Virtual Desktop? Now, we did do a video a month before Boom! Link in the description below. Go and check out that video, which is below the like button. You know, we had said, why did Facebook accept a virtual desktop into the store? And for how long will they allow virtual desktop to be there? So that was really the big question we were asking and whether it was there because, you know, to fill the gap in the middle and so that Facebook could make some more revenue, of course, and, you know, potentially take more data from all the Oculus Quest users if they're not going to use the Oculus Quest inner version and or, you know, whether they were going to poof, kick him out, you know, because we know that Facebook take no prisoners, unfortunately, and they've been sued all over the world by tons of different governments for what? Anti-competitive laws. That's right. They just don't care about the competition. They just try to crush them as much as possible. That's a fact. Now, are Facebook just going to be nice and leave virtual desktop there? Who knows? You know, and it would be great. And I would love to know if Guy Godin had anything to do with the development, of course, of the Oculus Air Link for the new Facebook Quest 2 and potentially, you know, future VR headsets as well. It would be really good to know whether perhaps he was involved in the project because that would make a lot of sense since this guy is just a brainiac when it comes to developing these kind of technologies. Now, AirLink is not new technology. However, it's in other VR headsets, for example, the Pico Neo 2. And let's not forget, they're going to release the Pico Neo 3 next month in May in Asia to begin with. And this already has this technology, which enables you to stream all your various different favorite PC VR titles directly on your Pico Neo 3. And let me tell you, it's not half bad. It's pretty good. And the technology is, of course, only going to get much better. And virtual desktop in the Facebook Quest 2 is really, really damn good. So it's going to be very interesting to see the differences between you guys who are using the Oculus Quest versus the virtual desktop version. You know, you're going to have to put some comments below to let us know what you think once it rolls out. Facebook say that you will need a good Wi-Fi connection and, you know, you're going to have to poof, hook up your PC to the Ethernet because that is the best way to get as much bandwidth as possible. And then also that you'll be able to play, you know, within 20 feet. So virtual desktop have taken many months and years to really perfect their technology. So again, it'll be very interesting to see how, you know, Airlink will perform from the get go. However, let's not forget that talking about Pico Neo 3 just now, that the new Pico Neo 3 coming out next month will actually have Wi-Fi 6 technology inside of it. Now, this, of course, also poses the question whether this is going to become the new norm now in VR and whether this is the only way really for people who are going to be in PC VR to really be able to enjoy PC VR titles in the future as you know, tethered headsets perhaps will start to really become something of the past. And anyone who, of course, will come out with a new headset that's tethered, maybe are going to lose a lot, much more, lot, much more, a lot more market share, of course, because HTC will be coming out with the brand new HTC Vive standalone VR headset, which is the very first in the market. And we're very much anticipating this. Now, of course, they're going to have some kind of wireless technology to patch through to Viveport, which is the platform that basically they use to, you know, roll out all the various different titles on a subscription basis. 
And you know, let's not forget also that there are other headsets coming out in the pipeline, including Apple VR next year. And you know, it's supposed to be a wireless VR headset too. So will this have some kind of technology enabling people to patch through any PC VR titles from let's say Steam? to, you know, the Apple VR headset as well. All in all, this is just great news for the VR technology space because of course, Facebook, despite whatever we think of them, you know, they do set the trends and people do try to play catch up to them since they are, you know, the most advanced company at the moment with the most advanced product when it comes to VR. So it's very possible that the new norm will of course become standalone with a wireless technology to patch through any PC VR titles to the headset. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I'd like to thank all those who went to comment on all the previous videos. My God, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Oof, you guys are just super awesome. And do go and check out the other video on virtual desktop. <laughs> Link in the description below, as I just mentioned, below the like button, as they say. Until next time, I will see you. I will see you. Oof in the next video. Ciao. Boom.